welcome back. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Quick Trip and Guaranteed Fuel. You know, Jaron, the play that says it all about you. The Lions run a gadget play. Meantime, you're at the line of scrimmage. You get cut down, but you jump up, sprint downfield, and actually make the tackle on Swift, a full-fledged running back, 22 yards downfield. What inspires you to play with that kind of intensity? Oh, um, I wanted to win. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the other 10 guys out there did too. Also, formation recognition. So I knew it was some type of play before the snap because of the formation that they was in, especially being the boundaries. And so actually I was trying to call my teammate out because I seen it. And I just know like when I seen it, I got cut, I'm like, dang, I gotta get up, run, just run. That's the only thing in my head, you know, everything's on the line. Coach LaFleur had said it when we was in halftime, leave it all out there. You know, it's the last 30 minutes, that's all I was trying to do. It comes to an end against the Lions. Was it doubly tough to handle because of the fight you waged just to get there, to be playing for a playoff spot? I just feel like our bats were against the wall, you know, the whole season. And, um, you know, we definitely wanted this bad. You know, I think every player went out there would have thought of, you know, we would give our all and we're going to do something that nobody counted us to do the whole season, which is make it to the playoffs. Jaron, what enabled you guys to change it from miserable to respectable, to eight and eight, to eight and nine as it finished? What enabled you guys to do that? That's not easy to do. Yeah, I, I think it's just that thing you said is respect for, that, respect for the work, respect for the preparation, you know, respect for the play style, you know, everything, you know, that we got to go out there to do to win a game. I mean, you know, nothing is given in the NFL on any Sunday. So you got to go out there each Sunday, you know, you got to play with your all. You're on five years in Seattle, one in KC, and your first year in Green Bay. Are you glad you signed with the Packers? How has it worked oh, out for you? I'm ecstatic, man. I, it was great. You know, I love it here. You know, we're not going to talk in past tense, but, you know, it's, it's, it's great. I felt at home. You know, I felt like I did back in Seattle because Seattle was home for me before I left. You know, I found another home here. Um, I had a great year. I, I had some great relationship with these guys. You know, there's something I want to hold on to. I asked Kenny about this last week. Did you and him become instant buddies? We actually did. You know, uh, you know, it was one of the first guys that really took me in and, you know, Kenny's like a brother to me now. So I guess you can tell on the field how, you know, it relates with each other. Um, you know, it was a real good friend. I think, you know, this is something that's beyond football right about now. I'll be honest with you. I've been around here forever, as long as Kenny's been here. I've never seen him smile this much yeah. as when he's horsing around with you. Yeah. I mean, I I think you make Kenny a happier person. Yeah, that's my guy, man. You know, we gotta keep him laughing, keep him going, you know, it's just, when you find genuine people, man, it, it, it's just like that, you know, and, and that's just more than football. That's just, you know, outside of here, you know, just you know, kicking in our families, kicking in with each other, you know, hanging out stuff. What's at the top of your list of things to do during the off season? Do you have stuff you like to do? Um, yeah. Besides rest? <laughs> yeah, rest is definitely for one. Uh, I think I'm gonna go somewhere sunny. <laughs> uh, it's not good, I don't want to. I'd really be here in the snow playing football, of course. But, uh, you know, a little sun over here. I'm not used to this much snow.